In this video, we will talk about how to fix Microsoft Visual C++ runtime library error in Windows 10 and Windows 11. We will show you quick methods and steps you have to use to fix this problem and make sure to watch the complete video so that you can understand which method and step you have to use to fix your problem. So watch the complete video. Method 1. Restore point. Do a right click on Windows icon. Select run. Here you need to type this command rstriui.exe. Click on OK. Here you need to select choose a different restore point. Click on next. You might see an option to see more restore point. For that you need to check the box here. Once you'll do that, you will see your restore point. Select the date and the timing when your Microsoft Visual C++ was working fine. Once you'll select your restore point, click on scan for affected program. This will show you the settings will affect it once you'll run this restore point. After this, click on next and restore your PC to the back date when your Visual C++ was working fine. Method 2. Repair corrupted files. Click in search and type CMD. Select run as administrator. Click on yes. Here you need to type two commands. The first would be SFC then give a space forward slash scan now and press enter. This command will take some time so let it be done. After that you need to enter the second command that would be DISM command for to restore the health. Once you'll run the SFC scan you need to paste the DISM command here and press enter. This will also take some time so let it be done and restart your computer and check if that helped you to fix your problem. Method 3. Increase virtual address space. Click in search and type CMD. Select run as administrator. Click on yes. Here you need to paste this command and press enter. There could be memory usage issue related to Microsoft Visual C++. So this will increase the amount of virtual address space available to user mode application in Windows 10 or Windows 11. Method 4. Repair C++. Click on Windows icon, then select Settings. On the left hand side you will see Apps. Now select Installed Apps. Scroll it down, you will find Microsoft Visual C++ x64. Click on three dots and select Modify. Click on Yes and here select Repair. You have to do the same thing for Microsoft Visual C++ x64. Click on three dots and select Modify and Repair. Method 5. Reinstall C++. Open any browser you have, Microsoft Edge or Google Chrome. Here you need to type Visual C++ Redistributable and press Enter. Click on this link. I have mentioned the link and the commands in the description. From there you can copy paste everything. Once you'll be on this page, scroll it down. From here you need to select the link as per the architecture operating system you have. For to check that, click on Windows icon, select Settings. On the left hand side, click on System. Now scroll it down, click on About. Here you can see the system type x64 based processor. If you have x32 bit operating system, then you can select this one. Simply click on the link and that will start downloading on your PC. I hope our method will help you to fix your problem. That's all for today. Meet you in next video.